What's going on guys? Uh, my name is Brian. I am going to be tuning my X3M today on MHD. Um, this is a 2020. This is has the S58 in it. Um, I'm going to be doing MHD like as I stated. I have MHD on all my cars. My X3M, I have it on my M3 and my 335, which is currently not present. Um, in front of me, I do have two things right here. I have the Beamer Sense adapter, which is meant for these cars. Um, it's a faster flash. And then I do have the Thor adapter, which is meant for the E series, but also works for the F series. It's a little bit longer flash, but either or, both of these work for the um, for the X3M, the S58. However, um, just for time's sake, we will be using the beamer sense adapter here so uh we're gonna start this flash um i was actually ready to start this flash myself right now um but i will pretty much go back from the start oops so let's get back from All right, so we're gonna be wanting to go on to mhd f and g series i'm gonna put my phone on do not disturb as well so i don't get any calls um so i already bought the everything but you're gonna want to go on to um pretty much licenses my licenses and on here you're going to activate new license key um and that's if you have a key that you purchased within uh the mhd online so i already bought everything i got the super license so we're going to go back real quick Oop, if i can get that i'm going to be doing a flash and mhd map this car is currently bone stock um so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be going to the stage one 91 um 91 octane and stage one because i don't have down pipes yet so we're going to do 91 um it's going to read this so it's a 9 to 20 minute flash it's a long right we're going to go to options real quick now all these options were checked off so what we're going to want to do here is we will click uh oem and cata down pipes because I'm still oem and um cold start noise reduction exhaust flaps always open in sport mode startup roar and sport cooling mode for intercooler i think right now in colorado it's a little bit cold so we don't need this um my temps have been really low um so i think we're fine uh so we're going to be doing exhaust purple just to see how the car sounds um i honestly the only thing i did change was here to medium and I mean, other than that, I think everything else was to my liking. Worst case, I can go and change it. And it won't be a long 20-minute flash. It'll be a two-minute flash with, with this adapter takes a little bit. So you want to get your car in on mode. Um, you will want to turn off all your lights to conserve battery. Um, usually, I put these cars and I put a, a battery tender on this um, or battery charger, whatever it's called. I usually put that on these cars just because I don't want the battery to to die out on me while i'm doing a flash because you could break your ecu however i've done this many times and i feel like i am very confident in this battery and i'm just gonna go for it so we're gonna go long right prepping the mile all right uh had to end that last clip there i don't know what i clicked um but anyways we are back uh <clears throat> i was as saying so it's a five minute flash seven minutes it's gonna keep going up a little by little um we're already five percent done anyways uh, as i stated you are going to want to make sure that you do not mess with anything inside the car you don't want to interfere with anything so opening the doors closing the doors um just trying out messing anything that can mess up the flash you're gonna be getting a lot of lights on your dash here the drivetrain malfunction and a few other things you can see we're already at um 16 and it is moving really quick <clears throat> And again, that is thanks uh, to Beamer Sense adapters. Um, these adapters are extremely, extremely fast. And again, I use these adapters for uh, my F series um, F80, and it works like a charm. Every time I need to stop by, do a flash, send it to my tuner, this only takes <clears throat> maybe a couple of seconds. So it's not that bad. I think every flash takes me about 20 to 30 seconds when this is connected. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll probably get back to you guys here when the car is done. As you can see, I've been talking this whole time and we're already at 51%. Set a, a 10 to 20 minute flash or something like that. Um, but usually it's never correct just because these are so great. <clears throat> so um, I'll get back to you guys when this is done. And then I'll show you guys uh, how it sounds, which I doubt there's much of a difference because, I mean, realistically, the only thing that the only difference is the uh, the the burples. Um, but um i guess I'll, I'll i'll bring you guys back when this is done all right looks like everything was done um it's coding the dme <clears throat> and let's see this is gonna this has all been in pretty much real time so it's gonna clear the codes um and it's gonna ask you to pretty much turn the car off there you go wait 30 seconds so i'm gonna close the door real quick um i'm gonna turn off the car oh i'm gonna close the message um i'm still really new to this car 
wait 30 seconds and eh, whatever i think it's been 30 seconds so let's give this car a start real quick oh there you go and uh, that's that that's done we can go back and this is good so oh all right let's turn it on let's put this in sport mode ready to go um, as you can see there's no lights on the dash these uh, traction light turns on every time you put it in sport mode I can easily turn that off um, but other than that let's hear the uh, purple not bad not bad all right I'm sure this car is gonna sound a little bit more better um, with a, a lot more better um, with the downpipes, which um, should be installed by next week. But other than that, um, thanks for watching, guys. Again, this was the MHD for uh, the X3M, which, again, same app pretty much for your X3M and your F80. So, point out is I guess uh, there is a lot of options data logging. I have options to data log my car now. Um, I can edit these and pretty much choose whichever one that I like. Um, say for example, coolant, you do coolant right here. Um, uh, this is Lambda. So this is your AFRs. We can switch. Let me see real quick. Um, there's quite a bit of options, honestly. Let's do transmission temp down here. And wow, there's a lot more options that I had on my uh, E82s or E92. So I think we already have IAT. Um, uh, let's get back to that in a bit. So anyways, you have your options here, boost IAT, uh, your AFR, coolant and transmission temp. You can go back and you can enable auto logging. You can also go to codes. You can read DME codes here. As you can see, you have no codes, but you can clear codes on the fly as well while you're driving if you keep that connected. And uh, I mean, other than that, this app is honestly solid. Again, I use this for all my cars, um, highly recommended. And I do recommend to take this off when you are not using it. Um, it does waste a lot of battery. So I usually take this off. I only leave it on my E, it's not here, my E92. But for this car, for time being, I will take it off just so I don't want to spend uh, uh, battery. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, and yeah, thanks for MHD for the awesome sponsor on this video. So appreciate it, guys.